Well, you gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door? Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <sighs> oh, well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was on it before by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Yeah, that's quite interesting. I still can't believe you ate it. Okay, obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Or the Hulger brothers? Well, who doesn't? They're quite famous, or infamous, depending on your point of view. They crafted Mjolnir, you see. Thor's hammer? The Aesir's greatest murder weapon? The bane of giant kind? They made Thor's hammer? I didn't think they'd like this. Oh, I should say not. But this was long ago, and they were eager to make a name for themselves. Rather overdid it with that one, methinks. Answer the door. Did not leave her in the best of moods, did you? Frankly, I'm surprised you'd want to come back here. Oh, 
Brock and Cindy the Holger brothers? Aye. But they're doors, aren't they? Aye. And Holger are sprites of the forest. Aye. Beautiful, seductive sprites of the forest. So why would you call Brock and Cindy the Holger brothers? Oh. Well, I now realize this would be a wholly inappropriate story for young and innocent ears. <laughs> Whatever. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Gloa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions. For it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad. That's just... Ruthless? Barbaric? Heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. And so... Reflect longer. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Rota! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of... One of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. Did you see something out there? That tower! I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things.
What's that down there?
on the battle. <laughs> torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Kvekia. Come now. 
I don't bite. You're dead? <laughs> You're very per perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Disappear. Come, let us not be distracted. Huh! <laughs> 
So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. Brother, the chisel. Setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. I see something over there. It's Tear, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. So, oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not oh. that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now... Everyone's gonna think I only got it, cause Magni's gone! Won't be a joke! But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me! Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. It's true, but I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother, right after I finish killing your father! Oh! Stop it! <laughs> Oops, Osley got broken! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
This isn't over! Brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother, especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god. A god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Somebody just called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. 
It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Deacon of the Past, I swore, would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Uh. Boy. Hey, Malay. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridgekeeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. As you wish.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. You cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Thank <laughs> you.